Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your first week of December general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person who's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the visuals. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was I Can't Go For That by Tamia. Tamia happens to be a Taurus, so you could be dealing with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in a visual. Or something very significant may have started or ended in Taurus season, which is April, May time frame. If something ended, I feel like it's coming back to the surface now. This person may be trying to resurface back into your life. And if you started dating someone in Taurus season, you may be seeing some character traits about this person that you just can't go for. Okay? Now, I will tell you, trigger alert, okay? That song that she's talking about abuse. And it sounds more so she's talking about physical abuse, but that doesn't have to be a case for any all of you guys or anyone here to, you know, as a matter of fact. But what I'm getting is like somebody's emotionally disturbing. Somebody disturbs somebody's peace. Okay, somebody could be emotionally abusive, emotionally manipulative. Um, I feel like it's it's this is all about emotions for a lot of you all. We do know that things do happen where people step outside their doggone body. And they could become physically abusive. But I'm getting more so than anything. Some of you all are realizing what you didn't even notice was like emotional, manipulata um, emotional manipulation and abuse. You're starting to realize like this person has some real toxic character traits. And I feel like you're not going to go for it. I feel like you're going to be standing your ground, standing on business, as they say. Okay, you are a Sagittarius. We are in Sag season. I feel like you guys are in your power. Now, even if you're not a Sagittarius son, if you have strong Sagittarius placements, this time frame still affects you. I feel like your power, you you are feeling energized during this time. And you're not going to let nobody play in your face. That's literally the message I heard. You are not about to let this person play in your face. In other words, like just doing things right in your face that are disrespectful, rude, hurtful, intentionally. You're not going for it. Okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Sag, Summer Rise, and Venus Individuals. And happy birthday for my Sagittarius sun signs. Leave in the comment section what you guys are doing for your birthday. Fire. I always do really well energetically in fire sign seasons. And you guys know tomorrow we have a full moon in the sign of Gemini. So I feel like communication is going to be very heightened for you guys also. For some reason, I feel like this, this, this full moon is going to be very impactful for you guys. For sure. Like, sincerely, I feel like it's going to be very impactful for you guys. So currently at the bottom, I said it's going to be impactful. <laughs> you got the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. This person has done something to hurt your feelings time and time again. And I noticed because if you look behind him, it's like one time, two times, three. It's like this person just keeps doing it. And a lot of people could see this as him like saying, okay, stick a fork on me. I'm done. I see this as somebody driving it in the ground to pull themselves up. Because if you notice, he's a knight of warrior. This person is here to fight. I'm not going to let you do this to me one more time. Because this is like, in the past, this person has done some things. Okay. That's been very hurtful or disruptive. Okay. They've done it. It's their actions, because Wands' action, their action has been disruptive. And I keep hearing, I keep hearing over and over again, disruptive. Somebody may also be a teacher. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing it's like somebody saying, like, you know, writing up a referral for a student saying the student is disrupting the class. Somebody may be a teacher or somebody could be in college right now. And of course they would write a referral for college students, but I'm just getting something with schooling very heavy. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the temperance card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for those cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you guys immediately what I'm getting from this. Whether you have earthier chart or not, it doesn't matter. What I'm getting with this is somebody is realizing, I know my worth. Pentacles hold worth. Male or female, you're like, I'm not dealing with this. I know my worth. Look at her face. Like, I'm not going to take nothing else. I'm not taking nothing from nobody ever again. I know my worth. I keep getting like somebody is trying to break someone down. But it they're doing it in a very sneaky way is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, we want the temperance card. The card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get a clarifier for both of those cards. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Individuals. I can't go for that. She says that um, it's kind of a takeoff of that song. I can't go for that. No, no, no can do. It's something, but they they remixed it and did like an updated version of it. Um, who was it? Missy Elliott produced it. She wrote the lyrics. Uh, Missy Elliott happens to be a cancer, so you could be dealing with Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individual also. 
Oh, you got those placements in your chart. That's the Empress. Looking for the Temperance card. Wow, you guys are all the way in the back. So you guys know if I don't have a card in the back, I go to the card in the front. So this is just confirmation about what I was saying. You guys know your worth now. Then you have your energy, and then right in front of it, you got the two of pentacles. Again, somebody, see, that's why it was meant to happen like this. Somebody didn't know your worth, or they weren't treating you like they knew your worth. And it's causing issues in this relationship. This ship, relationship is being struck by lightning. You got two pentacles here juggling. So on the outside, somebody was trying to portray themselves as being happy as everything was fine but if you look behind them storm crowd storm clouds are brewing so it's somebody may have been in a storm or in a, a mental fall because the clouds are over his head a mental fall for a while but it's like something is something's getting clear and you're you're reestablishing your boundaries with a person and then also you're realize again you're you're realizing your worth you are realizing your worth. I, I, I keep getting that over and over again, okay? Bottom of the deck, two of swords. You may not have seen it before. It's something about the way this person communicates that can be very cutting. Also, I will say, remember I was saying we have a full moon. That's not a full moon, but I'm just getting because the only thing really here in the sky is the moon, you know? Um, during this full moon, which is in the sign of Gemini, and if you look at this Roman moon too, it looks like the Gemini symbol, okay? I feel like during this Gemini full moon, those blindfolds are going to be removed. Some of you guys didn't want to see this person's behavior. You see how she has her arms across her chest, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Some of you, some of you guys didn't want to see it because you realize, okay, if I if I acknowledge what this person is doing to me, then it means I have to cut them off, and I don't want to deal with that hurt. And I want you also to notice you got two twos here. So someone can be a life path for a person of your two. This also can, you know, some type of epiphany can come out within the next two days. Someone's birthday could be in February. Um, somebody's birthday could be the 2nd, the 12th, the 22nd, and any of the twos, like from the 20th to the 29th. It could be somebody's birthday. Yeah, 2nd, 12th, any of the twos, but 22nd is standing out also very strong. Somebody could be a life path number 22 as well. You and this love interest or this person of interest could be the same life path number as well. And I always see people want to comment saying, like, well, how do you get your life path number? Again, always make sure you just Google life path number calculator, personal year number calculator, and then, it'll, you know, it'll prompt you to fill in your information so that you can get those numbers. So let's part the deck. Will of Fortune. So this is Fated and Destined. Every single one of these characters have a book. It was Fated and Destined for things to play out this way. Every time I look at this, it just makes me think of a compass, right? Compasses give you directions. The devil is holding the compass. So it's like this person is taking you down a toxic path. Like if you keep moving along this connection with this person, they're going to take you down a, a very dark or heavy path. to see, everything is just heavy around him. But on the outside, he's trying to act like he's okay. That's why you got the rainbow. Now, I also want to say, I always tell you guys, after every rainbow, there is a, after every rainstorm, there is a rainbow. So it's like if you're going through some type of storm, especially mental sorts, um, you're going to come out of it. But it's going to require for you to, you know, really remind yourself of how valuable you are. I'm getting that for sure. Yeah, this could be an ending for someone here. Ace of Cups in reverse. Someone's first and last initial could be W M T J C U H. P, A, or S, okay? So let's go clarify for that Queen of Pentacles as well as the Two of Pentacles. You got the Page of Swords in reverse. Sword of is yes, sword down is no. So it's like, I feel like you may shut down communication with this person. And also, this person could be very juvenile. Pages are young, youthful. They still got some growing expanding to do. Um, and with it being in reverse, this is someone who just talks out the side of their neck. They're just very rude. Somebody may also have a tattoo, on the side of their neck, you see how his neck is turned to the side. This person could have a tattoo on the side of their neck. Um, and you know, there's no tattoo there. I just, I'm just getting it also. Someone's favorite color could be red. And then also, this person is not grounded, okay? Upside down, his feet are up in the air. It's not on the ground. So this person isn't grounded. They're not secure within themselves. This person, you could be dealing with someone who's insecure. And this is why this person won't show that they know that you're valuable. Because if they, they know, if they show or express how valuable you are, they fear that you lose. They'll, they'll lose you. You get what I'm saying? You know how people try to knock down somebody's self-esteem. Like, nobody else will want you. And even if they don't say it in that exact way, they treat you that way. Like, you know, I, I love you. And this is why I do this. And this is why I do that. You know, I don't know why this is making me think about that Ike Turner interview. And that, that kind of pissed me off. I don't know Ike Turner's zodiac sign. Again, I'm not saying that this person is physically abusive. But we know Ike Turner was. But there was an interview where I seen 
they asked him like, have you ever hit Tina? He was like, yeah, you know, it's a couple times I asked him like, you know, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And, and she'll say, uh, uh, nothing. And then he said, and that's when I, I pop up. And he, he did it. He actually did like the gesture that he did to her. And he was like, and I pop up. And then after that, she'll be fine. So this is somebody who thinks like, okay, if I do things a certain way, that'll get a different response from me. Like this could be someone who is like, they not right in the head. You get what I'm saying? And again, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be that this has to be someone who's physically abusive. But I, for some reason, I just got that. This person's name could be Ike. Nickname could be Ike. Somebody's last name could be Turner. Let's get a clarify for the Queen of Pentacles. That interview, if you guys Google that interview, where all you have to do is put on YouTube and ask interview where Ike talks about hitting Tina. Like, he was so arrogant the way he said it. And he, the way he talked about it was like he was very, you couldn't tell him that he was wrong for doing that. So you could be dealing with someone again. It doesn't have to be that they are physically abusive because there'll be somebody in the comments who is not listening to what I'm saying. It could be that this person just always feels like they're right or they feel as though their actions were warranted. Like this is somebody who I don't care what you say to them. They feel like their actions were warranted and they were right for doing what they did. They just have a negative and toxic nature about them. And when I said that the time was 11, 11, so that's confirmation. Let's get a clarify for the queen of pentacles. Clarify for the Queen of Pentacles. You know, it's and also, what do you call it? Um, oh, I can't think of it. When somebody tries to um tell you something, it's the opposite. Oh my god, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But it's like that whatever they're doing is shady. Like they're taking, they're trying to. Oh my god, it's, it's driving me crazy. Like the opposite, they're trying to tell you the opposite of it so that they can make you feel as though you're wrong. You, you leaving the conversation because it's right on tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. But if you think about it, you have the king of swords in reverse. Kings and queens in reverse are negative. They abuse their power because kings and queens hold position of power and authority. Um, to be in reverse is someone, I'm going to say again, this person got a real sharp and nasty mouth. They could say some shady shit. And even if they don't openly say it because he's in reverse, so this could be somebody who's hiding and saying things on a sneak. And over time, you realize, like, this person is trying to diminish my self-esteem, you know, Oh my God, it's really bothering me that's on tip of my tongue. Again, this is somebody who tries to say something one way and make it like they weren't. It's, it's like a mental mind fuck is what they're trying to do. But that's not the word I'm thinking about. Somebody will say it in the comments. You have the Knight of Wands, and that's Sag energy. We are in Sag season. This is a Sag reading. Some of you guys about the book and get the hell up out of there. You're done. You're tired of fighting. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm done with it. Okay? Again, name of the song. I can't go for that. I'm out of here. That's going to clarify for the two of pentacles. Okay. And you had this flip up sideways. You had two flip out. You had the two of pentacles. Remember, you just had two of swords. So you got two of pentacles again here. Huh. Clarifying it. Two of pentacles, two of swords, two, two, two. So you'll be seeing angel number two, two, two. And then you have the four of pentacles and both are sideways. So I'm going to keep them as they were. Four of pentacles holding on for dear life. Upright and reverse is releasing something or losing something. It's sideways. And then two of pentacles is like, okay. What do I do? Should I stay? Should I go? Having it sideways, a lot of you guys will be feeling indecisive about what to do. There's a lot of indecision, not being sure, not being certain. You don't feel grounded because of something that this person's doing. Also, something with your foundation. You're realizing it's patterns. You're realizing that you attract people who mimic certain parts of your life. Like, if you had an unstable family upbringing, like, if you had an abusive parent mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever, or if you didn't have a solid foundation, like your parents were always moving around, or you didn't have both parents in a home or something like that, it's, you're noticing, like, something in regards to that has affected how you value yourself. Because you all these cards is nothing but pinnacles, 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 pinnacles. And then this is this person's energy, like, speaking nasty, being nasty, being rude. I feel like it's something that this person's sub some subconscious programming this person does. This person does some subconscious programming, or at least they were trying to, and I feel like you've caught them red-handed. Like, you you see it. You see what this person's up to. But you may be having a hard time letting this person go, possibly even because of financial reasons. Like, this person's the breadwinner. You feel as though you can't pay for everything by yourself. You may be an unemployed Definitely could be involved in an earth sign. I did say to me that she happens to be a Taurus. You got Queen of Pentacles. That's Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. It's interesting because you have four Pentacle cards. And Taurus season does start in April, which is four. So that could resonate for someone as well. It could be April Taurus. 
whatever the case, I feel like you're realizing, okay, I know my self-worth. I'm not going to allow this person to continue to talk to me any kind of way and put me down because the sword is down. So whatever they're saying, it's like they're intentionally trying to do something to put you down. You know, that's it's intentional. It's not, it's not something that, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. They know what they're doing. Like I said, that with that Ike Turner interview, he said, oh, yeah, well, I noticed that whenever she was sad, I would just have a pop and, and then it changed her whole frame of mind. Well, Ike, God damn it, you didn't change her mind. If anything, when you did that, it, it made her shift her response to things so that she wouldn't hit her again. So somebody, some of you guys could be doing that also, going through some emotion, um, emotional relationship PTSD. Again, I'm going to say this again. I'm not saying that everyone is dealing with physical abuse. It, emotional abuse is just a sign because if you notice in both of these cards here you got water water what is the emotions and feelings so it could be emotional abuse it does not have to be physical but for some of you guys it, it's affecting you on a physical level is what i'm getting as well though but i feel like you're bouncing back from it male or female you're bouncing back from it i want you to notice all of all of the male energies that's in a negative space you know i feel like those are the ones that's causing the issue so it could definitely be a masculine who's who's just shady as hell or just just nasty. Now, you know, it could also be masculine. Masculine is not always male. So just put that where it applies for you also. But I just feel like a lot of you guys are realizing your worth and you're not dealing with it. You're you getting up out of that situation or you got out of that situation. And right now it's coming up in this reading for you. If this resonates, it's coming up in this reading for you right now so that you can continue to heal. Okay. Leave that storm behind you. Okay. And, and relish and live up under and flourish under your rainbow that healing okay because the rainbow is healing energy also okay so sagittarius summer rising events individuals as always i'm going to ask that you continue to like share subscribe and until next time take care and be well bye